Welcome to my YouTube channel, Listen with Anne. Please like and subscribe this channel for more stories. Thank you. Have a great day ahead, everyone. A Second Hand Car Written and narrated by Anne I am a college student taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education. Our house was a bit away from my school, and so my parents decided to buy me a car. I was astounded with their idea because finally I do not have to walk nor ride in public transportation to get there. They clarified that they would give me a second-hand car in reason that they cannot afford to buy a new one. I was actually fine with any car as long as the car will able to drive me from point A to point B. On Tuesday night, I decided to search on buy and sell groups where in there are tons of options. You only have to post what car you are preferred, then some sellers will comment their available car. At around 10.30pm, almost 56 available cars commented on my post. As I look into the comment section, I found it a bit of expensive. Anyway, our budget was around 150,000 pesos. So I knew that those cars are just enough for my budget. One commentator caught my attention. He was offering an automatic blue car. It was kind of brand new since it was made in the year 2010. I just neglected it until my messenger popped up. The guy messaged me privately. He started with, Hey, do you like my offer? We can lessen the price for you. I just ignored it because I think I am still unable to afford it. He messaged me again for the fifth time telling that he'll give the car for only 100,000 pesos. And of course, I was a bit curious about it. I opened his message now, then he made some agreements and told that he was only saying that because he will work abroad soon. He also mentioned that he has no family to look after for his car, and so he has no choice but to sell it. I was convinced and decided to meet him the next morning. During our meeting, I can see that this car is in a good hand. So we did not waste our time, we made an agreement, then I paid him immediately. Simple as that. Anyway, he showed some papers proving that he was the owner. So I was kind of happy and I told myself that, yeah, this is a good deal. Three days passed by, I decided to deep clean my car. And of course, I have to remove even the car seat so I can wipe the entire car. As I was removing the back seat, I noticed that there is a knife. I didn't touch it because it looked so suspicious. I tried to contact the previous owner, but when I checked my messenger, he was already gone. It seemed like we never had it and his profile went unavailable. I tried to contact the police and they arrive at our house in just a minute. They get my car for further investigation and I told them everything that had happened. I was just lucky that we had an agreement written in paper. You know, weeks have passed by when the police officer returned my car and they confirmed that through investigation, the knife with full of dry blood was not much in human DNA but instead in a heinous animal. But I was still wondering, if that blood belongs to an animal, then why he had to keep it that way? Until I stopped thinking about it and I moved forward. Today, that scenario happened years ago. I just forget it. And yeah, I still own the car. So far, nothing creepy happened. Thank you for listening. I will try to write more stories. And you guys are allowed to share your creepy stories.